besiege monstrosities, trusties, trusties. We are going to get straight into this pixie tutorial. So what you're going to need is your scissors, your comb, your bonding glue, your wig cap and the spritz spray. And your most important thing is the 27 or 28 pieces. I'm using Janet for this particular type of hair. So I'm going to be using both the shower cap and the wig cap that comes with the hair. As you can see, I've applied the bonding glue onto the weft of the 27 pieces and what you're going to do is you're going to start with the shorter lengths and you work your way up to the longer lengths and then you start applying your glued short pieces onto the wig cap and you just work your way up and the spritz is really important because it really holds down the glue onto the cap as you can see I start with the back and I'm working my way up and it's just side to side side to side I am not got I am not going around in circles just yet I'm just working side to side until I get to the middle of my wig cap then I start working my way around and why you do this is because you don't want the front to be extremely full you just want it to be very moderate and look realistic so you start working your way around once you get to the middle of the wig cap So I start working my way around, I go around in circles and I do this in four different layers and you can see I'm spraying my spritz again just to hold the glue down on the wig cap. So then after I go around four times, then I stop going around in circles. Now I start applying the pixie with the glue applied to it side to side, just because I don't want the back to be extremely bumpy and full. So once I start to see that the circle is getting smaller, then I start with the back again and then I work my way up to create the closure. By doing this, I apply the hair in a U part shape. So once the circle is getting really small, then I start going around in circle as well, just to cover up all the different patterns I've been doing before. So once I start to see that the circle is getting smaller, then I start with the back again and then I work my way up to create the closure. By doing this, I apply the hair in a U part shape. So once the circle is getting really small, then I start going around in circle as well, just to cover up all the different patterns I've been doing before. So this hair comes with a closure for those who are not really familiar with making a pixie and creating their own closure but in this video I am creating my own closure because I feel like it gives me a more natural look. But what you can do is you can always flat iron the closure and you'll be just as fine as you creating your own closure. So you have to be very gentle once you're creating this closure. You have to make sure the glue isn't really messy and it's just on the weft and you go in circular motion and but you use your hands to control the way it's going in a circular motion.
and that's it done it is pretty simple honestly guys this is one of the easiest way to make your pixie wigs and i'd love to know how you all get on i'd love you all to try it and let me know if you found this very helpful and if you haven't watched how i style and cut my pixie i'm gonna put the link in this video and watch that next And if you have any inquiries about this wig or if you'd like to get your pixie wig done, I'll put my email address down below. It's freebornnoble at gmail.com and I only accept inquiries through emails, not on social media. And if you want to make your bookings, just make sure you email me at freebornnoble at gmail.com. I'm going to put everything down below and I'll be more than happy to answer all your inquiries about the pixie wig. So this wig was made for my lovely friend Uche Natori and she's been rocking it so well. She looks absolutely flawless. The makeup, the hair, everything is just on point. <laughs> I literally feel like I want to take the hair off her head and put it on mine. You can style this pixie in different several ways and she's been playing with it as you can see in the video. And if you have any inquiries about this hair, just make sure you've email me at freebornnoble at gmail.com and also don't forget to comment down below if you'd like to see more of this type of tutorials and any other requests you'd like don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any other videos from me thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye guys Mwah.